Hi, I'm Melissa Ray, Chief Sustainability Officer of Sustain Life. In this video, we're going to talk about the five critical sustainability issues plaguing the tech sector. Now, while the tech ecosystem is a powerful tool to drive progress, the environmental impacts cannot be ignored. For example, think of your smartphone. Just mining those components from the earth, in addition to the 18-month planned obsolescence, is a huge impact. And think about all the energy and emissions related to the cloud computing for all of the services and applications that we rely on. Hardware aside, did you know that training an AI model has up to five times the lifetime emissions of a combustion engine car? And now at the entrance of AI products in almost every aspect of our life, the emissions from the tech sector is bound to increase. So I wanna shed some light with some of the major issues that are plaguing this industry and what we can do about it. Item number one, e-waste. Did you know that in 2019 alone, we dumped 53 million tons of electronic waste, only 17% of which was recycled? With the huge disparity between the waste we create and what gets recycled, it's up to manufacturers of products to create a system that allows for reusing your goods. So what does this mean? Offer end-of-life options for your products at the end of their useful life. This could be anything from a take-back program, back to your organization where you can reuse the materials into new products, or design your product to be refurbished and repaired so that users can go and extend the life of the actual product without having to buy a new one. Item number two, energy consumption. An incredible amount of energy is required to support our day-to-day -day use of the internet. It's 1% of total global energy consumption. And by 2040, the information and communication sector is expected to produce 14% of our total global emissions. So what can we do about it? When selecting your cloud provider, aim to use providers that operate their services and data centers in regions provided with renewable electricity. Now, a lot of the leading cloud providers will actually provide information on this, Google Cloud, for example, where you can understand the emissions impact by region of all of their different cloud computing centers. Now, when digging into this, you're going to want to pay attention to something called the Power Usage Effectiveness, or PUE, which is a factor of the total power consumption that's used to actually power those centers versus for auxiliary services like cooling. The closer that PUE is to one, the more efficient your data center. Issue number three, employee rights. Now, if you're a large tech company, you likely have a large supply chain with a lot of factories building all of the components in your hardware. And it's important to engage your suppliers to understand what kind of working conditions they're providing for their staff. And while this can vary by region and jurisdiction, you can actually set standards yourself to govern and make sure that your supply chain is adhering to the same values, standards, and conditions that you would set for your own workforce. Issue number four, materials. Tech hardware, ranging from computers, monitors, phones, require materials like plastic, precious metals, and silicon in their construction. A lot of these regions that these materials come from, like the Middle East and Africa, have been hit with resource scarcity and material conflict. So what can you do about that? A lot of those activities are gonna be out of your control, but you can engage with your supply chain to understand where are the risks and opportunities and plan for contingency in areas that may have conflicts underway. Additionally, and going back to our number one issue on e-waste, having a buyback program can actually recycle some of these precious materials, reducing your need to buy new ones. And issue number five, carbon accounting and disclosure. We're seeing rapid evolving regulatory landscape across the US, Europe, and Japan with climate disclosure and carbon rules. Now, tech companies are often the biggest companies in the world and across these regions are going to have to start measuring and reporting their greenhouse gas emissions. So what can you do to get started? Start your sustainability program today. Understand how your business operations result in emissions and how to talk about them in a meaningful way to your stakeholders and to comply with these global regulations. So if you're a technology company looking to launch a sustainability program and meet these evolving regulatory requirements, come check us out at sustain.life and see how we can help you today. Thanks for watching.